Elden Ring is finally here, but did it live up to the hype or is it just the next cyberpunk? Well, thankfully it did, at least to us, and looking at review scores, it did for everyone else too. Now without further ado, here are our first impressions from us here at 5.9. Elden Ring really succeeds at what it's trying to do, being a massive open world filled with thousands of things to see and do, with next to none of it feeling like fluff content like collecting feathers in Assassin's Creed 2. Getting into the actual gameplay, Elden Ring feels like this is the most polished entry we've had in the Soulsborne series. Movement and combat are excellent, tons of different playstyles, and a crazy amount of unique weapons with many different weapon skills to choose from. Aside from the special weapons, you can use War of Ashes to select abilities on weapons and shields and even a torch. So if you're not a fan of pairing with the shield, you can swap it to a ground kick or something instead. There's also tons of bosses in the game, with most having cool designs and attacks, and there's honestly just a bunch of them. Elden Ring being open world, obviously will have a ton of explorable areas, and most of those areas contain their own bosses, along with many dungeons full of enemies, materials, and just random items lying around. This is truly a game worth exploring. Next up, let's talk about the story. And in traditional Souls fashion, it's weird, it's not really given to you. Like previous entries, a lot of the story comes from the world, the item description, the journal entries, and of course the cutscenes and some exposition. We haven't actually gotten too far into the story here at 5.9, with the world being too tempting to not go ahead and just explore it first. But from what we've seen, it's very intriguing, but we'll go more into detail in our full review. Now let's talk about design. This game looks fantastic, easily the best looking FromSoft has made. All the scenery and landscape look fantastic. They even made the swamp region look interesting and full of wonder and mystery. Playing on PlayStation 5 performance mode, it's hard to even tell if it's just a performance mode. The visuals are just that much better, but we'll have some more comparisons on screen now anyways. But if you're really into graphics, Elden Ring will just not disappoint. Speaking of disappointment though, we do have to talk about the PC version and even the PS5 version to some degree. It wouldn't be a FromSoft launch without the need for a day one patch right? Well, the PC version is undoubtedly the worst way to play right now. Tons of crashing issues, frame rate issues, and just weird issues with screen sharing even in Discord that makes enemies invisible for whatever reason. And for the PS5, the optimal way to play is at 60 FPS. You need to download the PS4 version to play that. As the performance mode 60 FPS option on PlayStation 5 version, it tends to dip around the 45 frame marker. Not that any of these issues necessarily make the game itself bad, but it can hurt the overall experience. Overall, Elden Ring lived up to the hype. It's a wonderfully crafted world and experience, tons of hidden secrets to discover, tons of bosses to challenge, and many ways to play. This is truly a masterpiece of a game. It just needs some patches and optimization soon though. We'll go more into detail with the game in our full review. But for now, our first impressions are that it's very good and we highly recommend picking up Elden Ring.